Dallas Fire Rescue says a cigarette started the fire that destroyed much of a Dallas senior living center. Dozens of senior citizens are now living in hotels after their apartment building in East Dallas burned. Much of the building was demolished today. All of the people who live there are okay, but two firefighters were injured. Fox Force Lori Brown has our story. The two firefighters are now out of the hospital, recovering from their injuries at home. The fire department now says the cause was a resident improperly putting out a cigarette. Crews worked Friday to demolish this Serenity at Dallas apartment building after a fire ripped through the complex at 630 Thursday evening. Jason Evans, spokesman for Dallas Fire Rescue, explained how one resident started it all on a second floor balcony. He admitted to um, using unconventional means, just basically putting the butt out on the wood um, to extinguish a cigarette, and we believe that he did not extinguish it fully. And uh, what he did put on that balcony actually managed to get in, in between the spaces and smolder for a while before it ultimately combusted. The flames spread quickly in windy conditions, quickly becoming a five alarm fire. The most difficult part with this fire is that it extended into the wall spaces. Um, anytime you get fire hiding in the wall spaces, it may not reveal itself as an open flame until it gets somewhere where it's actually exposed to air and then you can actually see it. So a lot of the work um, associated with this type of fire comes in the form of using hand tools to breach through walls, to breach through ceiling. And if you ask any firefighters, that is a lot more difficult and taxing than it is to hold a hose line. Evan said the apartment management team evacuated most residents before firefighters arrived. The city taking 68 of them on dart buses to the Samuel Grand Rec Center. By 1.30 this morning, they were all able to get into hotels or stay with family members. Carol Shelton told us how quickly it all happened. Came out and it was smoke everywhere. And they didn't let us come back. And my dog got stuck in the apartment and I was cooking butter beans <laughs> and I left them on. Shelton is trying to help her friend. She lost everything. Before the building was demolished, this would be a first. <laughs> a resident worked with a Dallas firefighter to help retrieve her friend's harp. She plays at Baylor during the day for, for people who are at end of life. An automatic alarm is what alerted Dallas Fire and the management team, potentially saving lives. Evans said the two injured firefighters were among those working to put out the flames. One of the firefighters suffered injuries to his upper, upper extremities, and the other firefighter uh, had injuries associated with a fall. The ribbon cutting for the complex was just a month ago. Acquired it last year, and we did a huge renovation. We did a multi-million dollar renovation. And I would say two things that you might find interesting. The first is that part of that renovation was a significant upgrade to the fire repression and sprinkler system. And so we're really happy that all of the indications are that those sprinklers worked. The fire department is classifying the cause of the fire as accidental, so the resident who started it is not expected to face any criminal charges. Elevation Financial Group is still working on long-term arrangements for residents until they can rebuild the complex. In Dallas, Lori Brown, Fox 4 News.